Welcome back to Model Kit Monday. Today we're going to be doing the other half of the top 10 Build Fighter Strike hits. This is going to be parts 5 through 1 and concluding our list of Build Fighter Strike. Previous rules were in the previous video, so we're just going to roll right into this. Number 5, the Star Winning Gundam. The Winning Gundam was pretty cool being an SD kit that was able to uh, detach itself and become alternate weapons for the rest of its teammates. But the Star Winning takes the concept of what if we take an SD kit and make it into a real type? It's something that hadn't been done before, and something that has been executed better, I think, with the RX-0 Maru. But overall, the Star Winning Gundam started that trend, and it's really cool that you get the SD type and the real type in one kit together. Number four, the Crossbone Gundam X1 Full Cloth version GBFT. Uh, long name, but it's a really cool kit. It takes a lot of what the Crossbone Gundam X1 Full Cloth was, but adds a little bit of Bill Fighter's flair. Uh, there's a lot of cool little things with this, like from the gun to the sword to the crossbow to the cloth part itself. It just takes that already established really great crossbone and just adds to it. It's the ultimate version of this kit and this design, and I really have no reason not to put it at number four. Number three is appropriately Tryon 3. This modification of the Double Zeta into a animal-based combining super robot is one of the most inventive things I think I've seen with the Build Fighter series and the Build Diver series. It's honestly one of the greatest concepts of, well, we have this mobile suit that already is three vehicles slapping themselves together into a robot. What if they were all animals? So we get a Liger, a Manta Ray, and a bird that all form up into this amazing looking robot, which has the largest sword of all time. Um, Minato Sakai in the series specifically made it to be a super robot, and that goes down to its super robot combining sequence. This was kind of a love letter to super robot shows, which is why it does kind of feel out of place in the overall Gundam landscape, but as a super robot fan myself, I really enjoy it, and this kit turned out really nice. Number two goes to the runner-up of the grand finals of Gundam Bill Fighters Try, the transient Gundam, the leader of Team Celestial Sphere. All three of Team Celestial Sphere landed on this list, and considering they're not the main characters, that's pretty impressive. They put a lot of work into this. The Transient Gundam kind of feels like an Exia, but it's not like the G Portent feels like an Exia. This feels like a powerful Exia. It's a little bit more armored, but it's very sleek, very thin, very fast, very cool. I love the cool blue with the white. It just works really well, and there's only one other kit that can top it. Only one kit can be number one, and that kit is the Kamiki Burning Gundam. I considered the Build Burning and the Tri Burning, they're both fantastic kits that have the most impressive articulation range of any Gunpla I've ever seen. But, at the end of the day, the Kamiki Burning has not only the same fire effects as the other two, not only new fire effects, but he's got that sword. Because the thing is that, at the end of the day, we have the Bill Burning and the Tri Burning, they're all hand-to-hand -hand combat fighters. Sure, they could get bumped up by the winning or the star winning, but the, at the end of the day, it doesn't have its own weaponry. But, the Kamiki Burning includes a sword that is very much modeled after Domo and Kashu's sword from the opening of G Gundam and throughout the series. So you get kind of that iconicism of here is Sekai taking his mobile suit, something that was made for him that he then took and customized into his own piece. And in doing so, he added a sword which represents his master from the series. It's the ultimate character evolution. It's also the ultimate kit. It has every single thing the other Burnings had, Except it's got extra stuff, and that's pretty much what puts it at number one for me. I put a lot of love into this kit, it's one of my absolute favorites, and as you can see, I've even painted that sword. Uh, that is the level of care and attention that I've put into this kit, and I hope to keep improving on it, because it is absolutely fantastic. That does it for this week on Model Kit Monday. Be sure to stay tuned every Monday at 8.30pm Eastern, as we do a live premiere for the videos, which provides a live chat where I can communicate and talk with all of you while we watch the video together. Also be sure to check out Ninja Talks Gundam Live, which is currently on Mondays at 9 p.m. Eastern over on the Visible Ninja YouTube channel. Be sure to check out Ryan Darkclaw643 on Twitter at Darkclaw643. He does art commissions and he is the one that composes all the thumbnails as well as the awesome graphics you've seen during this video. And on top of that, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter as those are the three best places to reach me if you want to talk, if you want to ask questions or message me or whatever, I'm on those platforms, so please follow me there at SoundOut12. And lastly, check out Hero Club at hero-club.com for all of your Gunpla news and more. Till next time, this is SoundOut saying, goodbye.